Look up here, way up here on the deck. You know that pesky woodpecker's been back again, pecking away at the wood siding to get those wood grubs. And you know, before we do anything, we'll have to patch that, but then I'm gonna show you how to correct the problem. Now, what we're gonna do to fix this hole where this pesky woodpecker was, I'm going to put a bit of foam. Now, this is only a cutting off a piece of foam insulation wrap. Tuck it into the hole. And nail it into place. Now, once it's in place, and that's acting as a filler, and then I'm going to caulk it with acrylic latex caulking. Slide out when you can, Bruce. Keep talking, Jeff. Acrylic latex caulking now, being water-based, will cure up on the skin side, that's on the outside, very quick, allowing you to put a coat of paint over top of the acrylic almost within a couple of hours, depending on the temperature outside. There we have it. And incidentally, that is an excellent way of patching any cracks in wood siding or uh, any knot holes that might have fallen away. Smooth it off, filling the areas where the beak has been doing some damage, and you can just uh, draw the putty knife in such a way that you can actually form again the appearance of the green in the siding. And once that cures up in a couple of hours, we'll uh, give it a coat of paint, match the siding, and then we're going to uh, correct the problem that caused this in the first place, the woodpecker. Now you can see I've painted the siding here where the woodpecker made the hole and it's all patched up. And when that dries, that'll blend in nicely with the other uh, color of the siding. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure from the soffit down to the bottom of the window and then from the side of the window out to where the woodpecker made the hole. Now you might wonder, why am I doing that? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a screen mesh to go over top of that entire area to discourage, first of all, the woodpecker from coming back and causing the problem with the siding but also on the glass here, birds flying down from the canopy in the springtime of the year, they see the reflection and they think it's their mate and bang right into the glass they go and hurt themselves. So we want to discourage that as well. So putting the screen over the entire area is going to correct that. So we'll build the screen and you might say we're going to save two birds with one mesh. Now I went down to the building supply store and I picked up a piece of hardware cloth and it's half inch uh, mesh. Really, it's, it's a great product because it's, it's galvanized. It won't uh, rust and cause staining anywhere around the home. Now, I'm going to lay it flat on the ground. That way, it uh, holds it nice and flat for cutting it because I want to cut two pieces uh, four foot long because when I put the two of them together, being three foot wide, it'll give me six foot by four foot. Now, we'll lay the two pieces together the, to join the two, and I'll take some galvanized wire and cut pieces and join the two pieces together. There we have it now. We've installed four hooks in the soffit, four inches out from the wall, because we want the screen mesh to hang on the S-hooks four inches out from the wall. That way it's going to discourage the woodpecker from coming to the area where the grubs were in the wall, as well as it's going to stop the bird from seeing its reflection in the glass. It won't take long for the birds to get the message. In fact, it doesn't spoil the view, but you'll save your home and you could save a few birds.